All right, here we go. Back with the video showing the rest of my aluminum parts besides the trail rims just on earlier. Got the tires mounted on the new trail CNC aluminum rims. Tires are all mounted and glued. Got those done. Moving over to the old triple trees or the fork clamps we'll call them. These are going to be the new uh, replacing plastic fork clamps. These are all machined, of course, aluminum anodized green. New steering bar, steering linkage rod is going to be put in there. We also have a non-functional aluminum uh, rear brake rotor, which replaces the plastic one. We're going to have an improved version of the foot pegs, which holds the rider on better because we use a post that goes in here. Again, aluminum CNC machined green anodized foot pegs uh, for that. Pull rod linkage for the rear suspension, which is now a new aluminum swinger replacing the cheap plastic piece here is going to be replaced with an aluminum one that's more scale looking because most dirt bikes are not all dirt bikes have raw aluminum swing arms uh, so I bought an extended one which is 30 millimeters longer should give it more stability the new uh, rear fender flip up piece here is aluminum it's all like of course aluminum machine from GPM it allows this to happen this is all plastic underneath so it's going to get replaced with aluminum piece new radiator guard this is a support structure which uh, strengthens the front end of the bike. That's aluminum, of course. Uh, again, that's uh, GPM. I have an actual functioning aluminum caliper system for the front brake, because the front has a functional brake system. So now we have a gold to match the, the factory gold forks. That's why I got some gold parts here. The fork ends are plastic on the bike from the factory. So I got gold aluminum fork ends. This is the caliper mount here on the, uh, this will be on the left side. So this piece is the, the fork lower. Holds the front axle, pardon me, doing it with my phone. So I got that set, and then of course I've got like I said, the, the caliper system that goes on there, and then I've got the gold rear sprocket from uh, Losi to replace the silver one on the back. So I want a little bit of gold to tie in with the fork. That's all the only thing that's gold on the bike from the factory. And the silver, again, I went with that for scale looks in the green. Um, also, last but not least, these hubs. These are what has to get inserted into the trail hubs, the trail wheels. So you got these trail RC wheels that are hollowed out and they accept this hub that goes in there like so you bolt that in from this side and you put some screws in from that side and then the sprocket mounts right here that sprocket there that's silver will be a gold one mounted in here and this whole system will get rounded in place replacing the plastic wheel with a nice aluminum wheel so that's uh, all the parts I've got for it I don't think I'm gonna be buying anything more for it this was a uh, plenty plenty good enough so once again there's a pan view of all the uh, Aluminum upgrades I'm going to be putting on this bike and everything that it's replacing are plastic. They're going to go to all aluminum, so it should be more durable. Of course, it will be heavier, um, but in overall, it should perform well, especially with the extended swing arm. That should give it a little more stability, um, you know, in the in the in the pitch uh, direction of this bike. So it'll hopefully uh, handle rough terrain pretty well. So anyway, that video shows all the parts I'm putting on it. So hopefully you enjoyed that and. Uh, Next time, hopefully you'll see it. It'll be all put together, and this bike will look completely different than it does now. That is my goal, is to spend a lot of hours disassembling this bike right down to the bare frame to get to the uh, access to all the parts that I have to replace. So have a good day. Thanks.